the aftermath of US-led airstrikes targeting ISIL fighters in the central city of Heat. Buildings are destroyed and at least eight civilians have been killed, including women and children. Three months of airstrikes have pushed back ISIL in some areas, but it is advancing elsewhere. They've been pushing hard into nearby Ramadi, where dozens of members of a Sunni Muslim tribe have been killed in the past two days. It's controlled most of Anbar province since June. Iraq's Prime Minister, Haider al-Abadi, has called for more air support. But further east in Diyala province, Kurdish Peshmerga forces are critical of the strategy behind the airstrikes. The airplane doesn't come here to bombarding them. The battle there is fierce, and Kurdish commanders say they're not getting the support that they need. They even accuse the U.S. of having a certain tolerance towards ISIL's advance. This area is near the border with Iran, and it might be the preference of the coalition forces and the Americans to create a problem for Iran. This might be the reason why the coalition and the Americans did not attack ISIL here. But the U.S. wants to expand its influence in the battle against ISIL. It now says it's planning to spend millions of dollars arming Sunni tribes with AK-47s, rocket-propelled grenades and mortar rounds. In a Pentagon document addressed to Congress, it says it'll do so with, by and through Iraq's government. But some suggest Iraq's prime minister is hesitant. The government in Baghdad is in doubt about the weapons to be given to tribes. It fears these weapons might reach the hands of ISIL fighters, as said by a lot of politicians from the National Coalition. The U.S. and the coalition are constantly reassessing their options, but the U.S. has long maintained that the only way to beat ISIL fighters in Anbar province in particular is by arming the Sunni tribes. However, the Sunni tribes have been here before. In 2006, 7 and 8, they were armed by the U.S. to fight al-Qaeda in Iraq, which they did do and they did defeat. However, they were then abandoned by the Americans who simply stopped the funding to them and the last government isolated them, which some say led to the rise of ISIL. It'll take some convincing that that won't happen to them again. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.